Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we're getting it all in the awesome Ravenlock. This was developed and published by Coco Cucumber, who you may know published two other classic games in Echo Generation and Riverbond. It's usually available for £20.99 slash $24.99 but is included with Xbox Game Pass now, so get it while green's good. So we play as Ravenlock, a young lady who goes through a mirror and ends up having to fight a whole bunch of weird creatures under the rule of a kick-ass bad queen. As for achievements, this is a great list really because nothing is missable, a lot is story related but you do need to grab 18 figurines which again, even if you complete the game, you can continue to mop up anything you need afterwards. Uh, the only real missable is right at the beginning of the game where we can pet the dog. Um, Omgh! Otherwise, it really is a cool little game. I mean, even if games like this aren't particularly your thing, um, this one is great because some other bosses may be a bit challenging, but honestly, it's more easy than it is anything hard. So all in all, this can take you around three to four hours to complete. So with that being said then, well, you know the drill. Let's do it. And we're going to start a new game, we're going to start a new game, and we're going to say yes to starting a new game. And we can make up any name that we want. Now, because she's a girl, I'm going to go for Tess. I think Tess is a lovely name. Um, I'm also going to go for T, because, you know, you always need, like, a little middle initial, don't you? So we're going to go for Tess and T, and then um, Culls. That's always our top second name. So Tess T Culls, that's going to be my female lead. Um... That's a very nice name. So again, but, but choose whatever ones you want. So you'll get an achievement straight away. Make sure to press the A button here next to the dog. Row, 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 row. In order to get that achievement as well. So that'll be two achievements in literal seconds. Once upon a time and waff. Oh, that's, that's not the achievement, but it, it will pop up in just a minute anyway. So if you want, you can put glasses, a bow or a hat on your dog. It honestly doesn't matter because when we get pulled into the mirror, we're never going to see our dog ever again. So, uh, yeah, I suppose this is the last time. Uh, otherwise, we can head to the right, just past the trees, in order to get to the next area. Now, if you click in the left stick, you will be able to start jogging, uh, slash sprinting, whatever that is. Um, so once you click it in once, you will continue to do so for the rest of the game. Uh, go up to your dad here to speak to him. Of course, you can only speak to people when you get the sort of message bubble at the top. Uh, again, just for the purposes of this uh, walkthrough, we're just going to slam through the dialogue again, so you'll just do that pressing the A button. Then we can head straight into the house, and we're going to talk to Mommy Testicles. Look, there's finally a bookshelf about more testicles. Well, anyway... Uh, so, after this uh, conversation, she's going to give us a quest. Uh, by the way, you were supposed to say yes to get the quest going. Um, and that's what this game is, effectively. It's just a lot of quest giving and quest doing. So, outside, we need to pick four flowers. Head to the left here and grab these uh, first set of flowers. Head straight down. And as you can see, the camera angle is... Uh, it's a bit weird. It's not an all-the-way right-around camera angle. It's effectively just one. It's, yeah, it's easy to get used to, but, uh, yeah, it should be good. Should be good. So, uh, close to the barn, just to the right-hand side of the barn here, there is the th uh, third one. And if we go to the left of the barn, just by the swinging tree, there is a fourth one. Hopefully there's no, you know, horror tales involved with this swing in this house. Because we are in the middle of but flub nowhere. Right, so we've got flowers for Moam. Now we can go back in the house. We're going to go to the right-hand side and put the flowers in the vase right here. So there we go. Beautiful. Job done. So we need to tell Moam that we finished. And we've got to do more stuff. Jeez, man. I just moved here. So going to the kitchen on the left here is the turning key. Uh, the clock turning key, as it were. Um, and again, obviously, this is more or less just a prologue, just uh, just to show you how the game works as we go into the clock. Normally, you don't have to get up an inventory or anything like that. If you've got if you've got it in your inventory, it'll, you can automatically just uh, pop it into whatever. So, with that one done, we can now go and help Dad the tool with his toolbox. We can tool him up. 
Wait, I don't know how to... No, I think that sounded wrong. Uh, so, smash through that one then. Now, what we need to do is we're going to head to the... Uh, into the truck. Hoppers. Truck... Truck rentals. Jeez, sorry, my eyes are going blurry there. Uh, but it was in the truck anyway. And then when we head over to the left, what we're going to do, we're going to interact here with the little uh, doggy thing. There's the toolbox. Job done. Now, we, uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, pick it, in fact, no, we're not going to pick it up, we're going to go to the right-hand side, we're going to go and find our papa and speak to him again, again, just smash through all the dialogue, that's what I've been doing for the majority of the game, and we get an old barn key, so we're going to get our third achievement here as well, now for going into the barn, incredibly, so off we go, again, you can just press the A button, and that'll go in lovely, press yes, we will just be pressing yes for the majority of things, head to the back here, and you can see a dusty old mirror, and you know, just um, as a sort of minor inconvenience, instead of just wiping it down with your hand, we need to go all the way back out, into the left, to go back into the house, So when we get inside then, the cloth is to the right, all the way over to the right here. It's a nice house, mine, I'll give you that. A nice big kitchen, and there's a microwave and a coffee pot. Yeah, all the things you need. Um, but I don't know where the Xbox or PlayStation is. <laughs> anyway, um, we can just head back into the barn, and this is where the game is now going to begin proper. Head back to the mirror, press the A button a couple of times on it, and we're going to get sucked in. No! You know, because that's what normally happens. You get the sort of Eric Cartman. Yeah. Who's even there? The other side of this, the, 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 the other side of the mirror there with a the big key thing. So as it turns out, we're not dreaming. So we need to head down, and we're going to speak to this bunny here called Finnan. So uh, Finnan is going to explain everything. Um, apparently, we are Ravenlock, and well, we got to save the day. Here you. So after that conversation, we'll get the achievement called A Prophecy for speaking to Finnan. Uh, but we can head up. And yes, so we're going to have to find a few things here. So first of all, go to the right-hand side. And just here, if you press up on the D-pad, you'll start doing a little dance next to these figurines. Now, these are the collectibles of the game. There are 18 in total. And to collect one, as you can see, all you got to do is just dance next to one. And, uh, yeah, we'll get the achievement there for, vibe, for vibing, for dancing for the first time. But, again, there are 18 of those collectibles, so we'll dance next to them, get them sorted, get them going. Right, into the Victorian house, head to the left, and we're going to speak to this big rabbit. Now, like I said, for a lot of this game, all we're going to be doing is talking to people, getting quests, finishing those quests, and then killing the big bad boss at the end. Um, but there are quite a few bosses in between. And, again, they may look scary and intimidating, but they're really not so bad. Uh, so, uh, we've spoken to Big Bunny, we're going to speak to a little, uh, chef, old, uh, Taco Bell, right here. And, um, yes, once that's done, have a look at the mirror, that's basically going to, so once we, again, you can... Press the A button to skip the dialogue, or for a lot of the times, which we'll be doing in just a bit, is just holding the Y button to skip all cutscenes and dialogue uh, to make it go a little bit faster. So once that one's done and you've interacted with the mirror, uh, we're going to head into the room on the right here and then speak to, um, what does that say? That looks like Pep the Hair. Foe the Hair. Poe the Hair. Jesus, man, my eyeballs. Um, anyway, so again, he's going to give us another quest, and then if we interact with this empty bit of space right here, this is going to be another quest. If you want to know, uh, what quests you're on, and what quest to grab, as we interact with the wardrobe here on the left to grab the shield, just press the start button, and you can scroll over to the map, you can scroll over to the quests, um, and yeah, just everything that's on there then, so it's not too bad. So that's if you need to find out what, uh, quest you're on, or if there is a particular quest that you want. Uh, otherwise, we can head down now that we've got the shield. So we're going to head all the way down. And you see these little pots that we're running past? There's going to be a lot of them in the game which ha house a lot of money. So we're going to head to the left first. So, of course, we need uh, quite a bit of money in order to buy at least 20, po uh, 20 bombs and 30 potions. But we'll come to that in just a bit. We're going to speak to um, Methed Up Sonic the Hedgehog right here. 
Uh, yeah, so there's a mustard seed tea. Beautiful. So we're going to open the shop. So we're going to do his quest in just a minute. The old uh, meth head Sonic. Now go up to the Clyde the Hedgehog, which is basically just Knuckles. If he was on, uh, you know, if he was on the old uh, woohoo as well. So you got Sonic and Knuckles if they were messed up here. Yeah. So that's where yeah, that's what's happening. So again, we need to do another quest here for Clyde Knuckles, the methy hedgehog. The meth jog. Hedgehog? Meth hog? Yeah, meth hog will do. Um, I'll stop saying meth now before YouTube ban me. So we're gonna go all the way to the right anyway. And big door right there. That's basically we need to be grabbing three of those hearts in order to get through to the door. That's basically the last area of the game. Otherwise, we can go ahead and speak to Suboptimal Prime because he's not, uh, <laughs> he's definitely not Optimus, is he? Uh, so, Suboptimal Prime, and he, again, of course, he's going to give us a, another The Castle Gate quest, which, of course, we'll be doing quite a bit later on. So, head up to this sort of little platform here to grab the sword of King Arthur himself. But instead of struggling, you're literally just going to pull it out and then job done. Pull it out and then job done. Well, you'll be arrested for pulling it out and then job done. So, um, but apparently we're in this uh, mega world. So, press the X button there. And to be honest, this sword is quite powerful from beginning to end. So, if you just keep spamming the X button, you do a lot of damage. Anyway, head up to where this bloody giant cat thing is. And again, we're going to have a little chat with him. Her. It. So, once you've spoken to Giant Cat, uh, make sure to stay here, do a little dance, do a little jig, again, up on the D-pad, and that'll get figurine number two out of 18. So, there we go, flying through them now. So, head to the left, uh, you can interact with the window here if you want, makes no difference. Uh, it's just saying that it looks closed, which indeed it is. Uh, you can actually just incredibly uh, just pick the lock. That is literally how um, talented you are as Ms. Tess T. Culls. So, you interact with the book. The, the, the book, the book, that'll give you the quest for funicular access, uh, but we can't actually come here just yet, so we got some stuff to do. So we're going to head down and head to the left, and we're going to end up back outside the big castle gates with suboptimal um, prime. And then we can just head up to where Finnan is, and keep going past him. Now, again, if you want to start collecting money, anytime you see those big pots, do it, absolutely do it. Obviously by pressing the X button and you can press the Y button to um, block with your shield as well But we've got a bit of combat training here with old spliff the bags So it's again very easy. All you got to do is just run to the three points first of all um, He's just going to tell you obviously what to do and how to do things So next up you can press the B button to dash a couple of times uh, pretty much unlimited so you can use that as uh, much as you want uh, go and attack Spliff with the X button a couple of times. Bam, bam, bam. And, well, again, you need to press the Y button. Now, sometimes it's a bit... It, you don't need to attack him. Um, but again, so I think it's when it's about to hit you, then go ahead and press the Y button to sort of parry it away. Um, yeah, so just go ahead and do that for, for a minute. <laughs> And with that, we are now going to get our first power. Now, there's four skills that we will automatically unlock through the game. Uh, so, if you press the left bumper just once, you will see that it is a whole bullet of ice. And as you can see, it will take a, just a tiny bit of time to recharge. But these skills will come in mega handy for um, jobs and bosses later on. So if you press down with the D-pad, you can go into your inventory and press the A button a couple of times there to use your potion. Uh, with bombs as well, what you need to do then is press down on the D-pad once and then down on the D-pad again. And that will put you to the bombs. So with just bombs and potions, um, with the bombs then it will automatically target someone if it's in your sight. Uh, so you just press the A button a couple of times on whatever bomb that you want to use. Um, and again, if you want to use a couple of bombs on a couple of enemies, grab the fire bomb, press left or right in the D-pad, and that'll toggle between enemies as well. Now, um, a lot of the times, 
I genuinely didn't use that many bombs, just a couple through the game and then quite a few for the final boss. Um, so yeah, so when, when you buy bombs and you have bombs, really, you, there's no need to do them. But anyway, uh, no need to use them, sorry. But again, we'll come to more of that later on. So we've just gotten the achievement there for completing the combat, so we can head down, all the way down. We're going to head to the left this time. And again, make sure to be smashing these pots as you go. Uh, but we're going to head up and talk to uh, Knuckles the Meth Hog. And that'll complete his one, the old fun guy pathway. So, uh, are we going to go? Yes, we are. We're off to the mushroom first. Again, make sure none of them are magic, otherwise you are in for a uh, trippy good time. Right, so, head to the right. And we're going to start fighting some enemies now. This is the fight. This is the fight we need. Superman will be proud. So, what are you going to do? Press the A button in the middle right here. And yes, we are going to turn it on. And these uh, chunky mushrooms with a whole bunch of eyes are going to start attacking us, of course. Uh, there is the queen. We'll get an achievement uh, for meeting the queen after that. So, uh, in every bit of combat, what I always do is press the left bumper first in order to use uh, your skill. Obviously, it's the only one you've got at the minute. And then just keep slamming with the uh, X button. Uh, again, if you need to dodge, remember to press the B button to dash. Uh, just keep an eye on the rechargeable um, ice bullet spray. As soon as it's full, um, yeah, so as soon as it's full, just use it again. Now, <laughs> another really good thing about this game is it, it's quite forgiving in terms of if you need to take a little break, or if you think, oh, Jesus, this is a bit overwhelming. You can just keep dashing away from the enemies for five. Just, uh, you know, giving yourself... Ah, you bit me on the bum. You big dum-dum. But yeah, so if, if you find yourself a bit overwhelmed, uh, you can literally just keep dashing away for just a few minutes. And, you know, so yeah. So that's that's another really good thing about this game. You don't... you can, If you get overwhelmed, you can get yourself un-overwhelmed, as it were. Um, but yeah, so that's the strategy that I took for basically every fight and every boss fight. Using your skills, dashing away, and then just going ahead and smashing with the X button. Smashing the X button as quick as you can, as you can see, and get some pretty feisty old damage in it. And after the um, purple headed mushroom guys, <laughs> purple. Not purple. Uh, you'll get the achievement there, a grand visit, and the door on the right will open. But we're going to head straight up for a minute. As we can see, we're going to start smashing some of these um, uh, pots so we can start whapping the money out. Now, again, another, another thing about this game is once you go into a new area and come back, any enemies that you've already killed, um, we'll head down for a couple more. So any enemies that you kill and any pots that you smash will reappear. So if you do need a bit of a grindy grind later on, you can literally just keep going back and forth into the next area and back out, and everything will reappear. Uh, so what we're going to do then, we're going to head up. Uh, you can ignore the old uh, purple mushroom heads for now, um, unless you... <laughs> tired you, mate. Uh, but just head to the right, interact with this, uh, well, big massive cliff edge. Again, if you want to kill them, you can, because um, of course we need a lot of XP as well. Uh, which you can get with an easy grind later on. But again, we'll come back to that later because we need to try and get to max level, which is 20. Otherwise, we're heading all the way to the right and into the next area. Oh, and this is a nice one because this is... Uh, this is sort of just like the home, home hub area, if you want to call it that. So if we go over to the right here, Decca, this is where we're going to get the XP going. So... Obviously, the more you level up, the better health, stamina, strength, and bullet spray damage and stuff you can get. So, uh, by now, you should be on level 4. Um, at least level 4, anyway. You might be able to get another one if you kill those purple-headed mushroom dudes in the last bit. Uh, we need to interact with this big ca uh, big pot right here. He'll give us another quest. If we head over to the right, you will find one cinder. You could do these quests really in any order, but we're going to get them out the way now, because it's a pain in the butt. Uh, head sort of into the back, smash these pots open. There we go, and just to the right of that is another piece of cinder wood. And then if we head to the right, but not all the way to the right, just about here by the tree, start heading down, and there is like a little hidden path which you can go to. 
There is another couple of pots, and there is the third cinder. Again, that's a very, very sneaky one. Um, and then we can actually head into the right-hand side path. Now, there are some yellow-headed mushroom guys this time, so probably <laughs> who try to, you know, spear you and try to rugby tackle you. Uh, but it's not going to work, because you guys are going to die. Anyway, there was the fourth cinder right there, so that'll be all of the cinder wood. And again, and again, I always say, anytime you see any of those pots, just give them a whack. Obviously, the more money, the better, which I wish it was that easy to grab this amount of money in real life. Hit some pots, oh, look at that, now i got 139 quid. Ah, oh, that'd be nice. Right, go ahead and speak to, uh, what's his name? Carney, Craney, Carry the Cauldron, whatever his bloody name is. Again, my eyes are about as good as my Spanish right now, non-existent. Here. Right, so you can buy potions off him if you want to. Otherwise, we're going to head all the way to the back left, and we're going to speak to this statue thing. Uh, and apparently, we get a tiny bell as well. So we need to awaken the spirits. This is another quest we're just going to smash out of the way now. Smash, grab, dab, and wab. And flab. First one, then, is over to the right, just past Decker and the Witch. And here it is, then. So this is the forest spirit. Ding, ding. Ding, ding, dogs. Time to wake up. So head back and uh, to the... We're going down. So we're going down into the previous area. Just to the left of where we were then, there is the next bunch of spirits. It's another spirit... Spirit... Spirit forest. Forest spirit. So we can work on the spirits for the tiny bell. Uh, just keep heading around to the left. Again, you can kill the enemies if you want, but uh, it's probably worth just ignoring them. Um, otherwise it just takes up a little bit of time, but you do get a little bit more XP and money, but there is another forest spirit anyway So that'll be the third one. Wow, thanks. See all it took was a little bell So we need to grab another two more so head to the left and sort of down um, <laughs> Excuse me if you guys could just Piss off me. I've got stuff to do. Ah, you just bit me Right, that's it. You go to a dentist. I'm gonna take all your teeth out of you uh, here is another figurine, by the way. This is a very, uh, very well hidden, actually. So that'll be the third figurine. So when you come into this area, which you should anyway, because we need to be heading all the way to the left, just make sure to pick up that figurine. Right into the previous area. Um, <laughs> apparently, we're just slicing down with some ice bullets, and then we can awaken another one of the forest spirits. Fantastic. Right. Um, well, with that one, we are done, but we're not going to head back to him just yet. We're going to head to the left again if you want to grab some of the pots, be my absolute chicken breast. Oh, in fact, no, there is the uh, last one, sorry. Uh, so, there was the last one, and now we can go ahead and speak to the guy. So, again, it is just a case now of heading to the right, and then remember to go down and around, and then we'll be back in the main area. Sort of the main area, anyway. So now, once again, we can go to the back left corner, past Carry the Carney the Corny the Cauldron, and into the big Lickitung ghastly looking thing. And we get a couple of fire bombs and a couple of potions for our trouble, plus the Awakened Spirits achievement. So, job done, mate. Job done. Right, so from here then, what we can do now is we're going to head all the way over to the right, and then what you can see is this guy who looks like one of the figurines, plus there is a fourth figurine right to the left of us today, just in the mushroom. So make sure to pick that one up as well, that should be figurine number four. Again, smash those pots, always worth doing every time we come here, just to grab some more money. Head into the house anyway, uh, this is the Victorian house, we can head upstairs. Uh, there's another figurine, plus if you interact with the bed, you will get the well-rested achievement. So, if you do, if you don't have any potions left, there's the figurine right there, so make sure to dance next to there. So, if you don't have much health and no potions left, if you just come back here, interact with the bed, you will, one, get the well-rested achievement, and two, get full health as well. So, now go ahead and speak to, um, the witch. And we're gonna get the blessing spell. Uh, Pelle. 
just having just a cheeky look there if I can uh, level up again. But as it turns out, <laughs> hey, hey, no, I can't. So uh, we're going to head to the right. We're actually going to speak to this rabbit thing now, um, and we can uh, get the first tier going, which gives us a couple of bombs and a small potion as well. So obviously, the more you collect, which obviously we're going to anyway, the more cooler things that we're going to grab, or that we can get from each tier. So for now, we are going to head all the way to the right once again. And this is where our first boss fight is going to entail, actually. This is the first boss fight. Now, like I said with the little mushroom dudes earlier, and I was going to ask us a question, um, and we're just basically going to say no. So green is a disgusting color, and apparently that's going to piss him off so much that he wants to kill us. Uh, now, each boss will have uh, a couple of phases, and it may take a little while to get used to, but like I said, every time we uh, start, we're going to press the left bumper to just give him a shot. He gives us a little shot, um, and then we can just spin straight around. As soon as you see him starting to raise his hands, obviously he's going to start swinging for you, and then he also does that where he just shoots out uh, big pieces of greeny gunk. So, again, every time that your ice burst has charged, make sure to shoot him. And he'll also make stuff rain down from the sky as well, so just be careful with that. Remember, press down if you need potions. Press down on the D-pad and then the A button a couple of times to use it. Otherwise, as soon as he stops still, you can um, uh, give him a couple of shots. But again, always wait out. Ah, you shot me! So yeah, just as soon as he starts doing something, it's just best to move away and then head back. So normally each boss has about three or four moves. Um, quite easy to get used to, and they end up getting easier and easier the more we level up. Burst. So with the last kick of the dice then, kablamo! There we go. That's the weeping fun guy. He's not so much of a fun guy anymore, isn't he? Nah, he's a dead green guy. Well, don't be peed off if people say they don't like the colour green. Jesus, man. Anyway, what we get is the weeping fun guy's head. And then we can basically just head back now and give that to the witch. So we can head to the left. Again, ignoring the enemies if you so wish. Uh, now, if you, if you hadn't died yet, what you will notice is that... Um, Anytime you die or anything like that, you literally just start off straight at the beginning. You basically get infinite tries, so you don't, you know, there's there's not really any punishment for dying. And to be honest, I think I died about two or three times throughout the game, and that was primarily with the first couple of bosses. Um, sort of getting used to, you know, what to do and everything. Uh, otherwise, we've given the witch the head, so now we're heading back to the right-hand side again. Um, we need to get a piece of the... Bison now, so we are actually coming up to the second boss fight, so go to where the uh, angry green guy was, the Hulk, or the Sulk, we should call him, uh, but we've got quite a few things to do here, so we're going to interact with these, um, well, these bison, or the stags, sorry, we're going to interact with four of these stags in the lake, first of all, so there's the first two here on the sort of left-hand side, there are enemies about here, they do look very intimidating, but they are easy, uh, they are easy to just smash out. Um, head to the right, but sort of just keep uh, going up for now. We're just going to ignore the enemies until we get all four quests. So, stag do, stag do, stag do three. And then we're going to head to the right-hand side. Oh, look, see? See how peed off these big massive things are? There it is. So, straight up then. Interact with the final stag. Yeah, go away! And then that is the four quests. Which we're going to start, which we're going to do. So, again, as always in every boss fight or any fight encounter, press the left bumper. These guys will spin at you, so if they do spin at you, you can press the Y button, as you can see, and you'll sort of bash them away. That's how hardcore you are. But they do, do, they do go down quite easily, so... Um, ah, cheer. Yeah, so they do go down quite easy, but again, as always, use your left bumper, use your skills first, and then smash the hell out of them. But what we need to do first, then... Now, this guy I thought looked uh, quite terrifyingly scary. 
But uh, as you can see, his health smashes down like an absolute beastie boy. So, yeah, all the enemies, there's quite a few of them, but they are quite easy. Uh, old Dunsparce here will try to sting you, but you're too good for that. Aren't you? So we need to get rid of these things that are in the pond, the yawning pieces of craps. Uh, so there's the first one in the same lake. Um, just decided to ice cube some mushrooms for some reason. Yeah, there's another enemy. There he is. So you do have to just be careful with these big boys because uh, they sort of can't, because obviously the camera angles and stuff, they can sort of come out of nowhere and they can make you boop them slightly. So the second one then will be over in, is basically all over in these lakes. Yeah, let's just uh, kill this guy. God damn it, get the, get the hell away. And to be fair, to go down that easy, it's pretty pathetic that one, isn't it? Uh, so again, if you do need health, of course, just make sure to smash open your health. Uh, we've got another Dunsparce to kill. And then the second of these things, that is in the second lake next to the deer, or the second river, whatever you want to call it. Head down, and we're going to get to the third one. So once that one is destroyed, then we can now... There's another couple of enemies that I am going to kill right here, but we're going to start... Smashing out, um, well, just on the left there, they look like sort of roses, but disgusting roses. Uh, we need to basically go ahead and find and destroy all five of them. And the first one is going to be just over here, sort of on the right-hand side of this area. I do go and grab a couple of pots. There's the first one, though, um, which we'll do in just a minute. But there's a couple of pots with money inside, so smash them if you so wish. And then we can go ahead and interact with the uh, fart roses. They look like fart roses, don't they, to be honest. So there is the first one anyway. The second one then is going to be if we head down. And well, we'll smash open a couple of pots and we'll also get rid of this uh, larvae. That's what it's called. So that'll be the fourth one out of four then. So all four just in the rivers. Uh, but if you head to the left and if you go down, there's the second part of the fart roses with a couple of enemies. So kill them dead. Next up then, we're going for a third one, so if we head up, head up, <laughs> head straight up. And they're going to be basically directly in front of us, right in front of that purple flower there. So that's the third set of fart roses done. Head to the right. Again, you can slightly, oh, well, it's basically straight up. Um, uh, just past the last purple flower there, right next to the uh, stag at the very top. And then the fifth and final one, if we head back down, it's going to be... Uh, sort of more down on the right hand side where we basically got the first one so head down another enemy here But if we just keep heading down that is where the next and last set of fart roses are So, there we go, that's the two done. Now, what we've got to do is basically kill uh, ten of each of those um, enemies. The ones with the big chunky boys and the ones, the flying Dunsparces and stuff like that. So, as I said earlier, if you do need some enemies, if you've run out of enemies or whatever, just head into a new area, come back, and of course, the this area will be full of enemies that you need once again. Uh, but they are the last two we're going to do, so slice and dice your way through life.
So now we have killed uh, 10 each of the Whisperers and the Bone Eaters, which uh, actually they sound pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I've got a bone to eat. It's, uh, you know, one of those delicious KFC bones. But anyway, what we can do now, now we've done all four, we can go ahead and speak to each deer. So obviously the one at the very top, the one to the left-hand side, the one just below it. Uh, just sort of blow it into the right slightly. Again, there may be some more enemies here that you still need to kill, so if that's the case, then, well, you know the drill, Kill Bill, Volume 7, do it. Uh, but, yeah, so there's the third one, and of course the fourth one is sort of more towards the right-hand side. Once this is done, well, it's time to go and kill yet Amznother's boss. So, with all the four quests done, we get all four antler caps. Dunsparce didn't know we went past him. <laughs> Loser! And now it is time. So, after you speak to Chunky Boy right here, uh, the chunkiest of Idris Elbers, the Mighties, then um, again, you might have to speak to him twice. As soon as that's done, we can press the S button. Oh, in fact, we're going to have to keep on going. Oh, no, we're all good. So, he's going to suck us underground, and this is where the fight begins. Again, a couple of charges. He's going to do a charge attack at you, and if you get too close to him, he's going to try and swing at you with his uh, head. Um, and again, all you got to do as soon as he charges, just go ahead, press the left bumper to use your first skill, dash out of the way, and then just keep swinging for your absolute life. He does try to kick as well, so tr try and get sort of underneath his chin, if you can, rather than underneath his back legs. Um... <laughs> well, I'm getting, I'm getting smashed up right now. That's the easiest way to do that, because he'll try and kick you. So, uh, again, if you want to use a fire bomb, that's fine. It's, uh, you don't really need to, in all fairness. As long as you just keep dashing out of the way, giving him a couple of whacks, and then dash out of the way. Again, if you're running low on health, use a potion. It's all magic, baby. Burst! One boy, one quick ice blast, and yes, apparently this bison doesn't like a tango ice blast, but we do. And, um, alright, dramatic. Although I suppose he did die, so uh, anyway. We get the bison horn, that's what we need. We're also going to get an achievement here called Tragic Brave for defeating Bouvador the Bison. Alright, so with that one done, we get an epic dash, which, which we can actually dash through the enemies. Um, and hurt them just a little bit. So that's our next skill upgraded, and that will be the right bumper. So left bumper for ice, right bumper for dash. So again, even when we get four, I, I will always end up using all four skills first, then smash, then the skills again, etc, etc. Um, I don't know if this was a bit of a glitch, but none of the enemies decided to try and attack me here. So um, if you want a little bit more XP, of course, and a little bit more money to level up quicker and buy some more potions, do that one. Grab this figurine here, just to the left of where we uh, uh, just exited. So that's the fifth figurine right there, just in that big purple flower. And then, if we're all good, and you don't want to fight anyone, we can just move on. So we need to head all the way down to the left. Uh, uh, just all the way down, sorry. So, uh, let me just try that one again. Follow the path. Follow the leader, path leader, path, 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 path leader. 
There we go. Ah, thank God for that. Thank God that then. So now we're just going to head all the way to the left and speak to El Witcho. <laughs> Which witch is it? I told the witch doctor that she was in love with me. Right, uh, you can speak to Decker again, see if you can whack up your level. I think I've got enough to do it, oh, three times. Um, again, if you decided to kill a few more enemies, you might um, level up once or maybe twice more. Go ahead and speak to a torty bagus, a torty mess. Um, even if you can't unlock the next tier, just talking to him gives him one of the figurines anyway, so... Uh, at the minute, it makes no difference, because we can't get the next tier, so let's fan just fan. Otherwise, what we're going to do is interact with the Witch Doctor, because she's in love with me, and we should be... <laughs> yes, please, I would very much like a reward for, for uh, almost giving up my life. Now we can go to the left and head down. So down the ladder, and to this next part. Again, smash open as many pots as you can here. And it's just a shame that, you know, we we won't be able to see our dog again. Nobody will use our real name again, because I thought um, Ms. Culls of the Tess T kind was uh, rather entertaining. Anyway, lob in all of the ingredients, and then we need to head back up the ladder. Right, let's get the hell outside, and we're going to speak to uh, Lenny the Cauldron. Not Lenny! And what he's actually going to do now is give us the torch. So, once he gives us El Torcho, we can head back inside, to the left, down the ladder, and then we can uh, finish it. Finish the potion. Potion, potion. Finish the potion. Wait, wait. <laughs> And if you're pretty much, you should be well aware by now, but every time you go back into a new area, pots and things will, um, pots and enemies and everything will reappear. So, again, that is very good, especially if you do need to grind up some levels or grind some money later on. So, speak to the witch doctor. She gives us the attic key. Da, 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 da. So, head to the left just at the door and start heading up. This is where we are actually going to get uh, another mirror. And there's another couple of pots in here which you can smash and grab as well. Make sure to open up this chest and grab the music sheet as well. So two things in here to do. Grabbing the music sheet first. This is uh, for this is needed for a quest later on. And interact with the chest. Open that up. You get a nice bomb and a, ni a nice, nice ice bomb. Ice, ice, bomb, baby. Boom, 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 boom. And a medium potion. It's nice. Right, so this is another fast travel point. That's what I, sorry, that's what I forgot to explain. If you interact with the mirror, you can then start traveling to uh, different fast travel points. So obviously we've only got two done for now. This is the Victorian house, basically the main, main hub of it. We're going to speak to Atlas, the pianist. <laughs> pianist. Um, and then he gives us some uh, more quest items so we can head back out now. And we can actually go ahead and open up the shock with Sonic the Meth Hog. Um, so just keep heading down again. Smash all pots open what you can if you're on the way. I mean, you don't really need to go out of your way in order to um, in order to get all the money as we head to the left. But uh, it's obviously worth doing because if you can get those the buying potions and bombs achievement out of the way quicker, then obviously it's all good. So, um, now we have uh, opened the shop. We're going to get the achievement for Little Shop. And there it is. Now, again, what we need to buy is 30 potions and 20 bombs. But what I will say is, if you are buying bombs, don't just keep your thumb held on A. So what I would do is just buy one, leave it a second or two, and then buy another one. The reason being, I think if it goes too quick, um, the achievement tracker doesn't actually keep up. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if it's the same with potions. I think it might be as well. So... So rather than just keep buying and buying, just buy one, leave it a few seconds, wait for the achievement tracker to tr catch up, and then you should be good. But of course, we're not getting this until quite a bit later anyway. So there we go. All right, so we're going to head all the way back now inside of the, into the uh, old of the uh, Victorian housing trousers. Trousers. 
and we're going to go uh, straight in front of us, press the A button here a couple of times, and we're going to go into a new area called the Mask Mansion. It's masky, it's mansion-y, and apparently she doesn't brush her teeth, this big clock thing. Right, few things then that we got to do, quite a few things. So, hello, welcome to the Mask Mansion here. Right, first of all, we are going to head to the left, and go straight down, and then head to the right. And then you got like this little basement or something. So we're going to speak to this bunny here on the third, the Obi-Wan Kenobi. Or on the third, on the left even. And we'll get a, another quest, of course. Then go to the back and speak to this bunny, um, Oban Wan Kenoban. And that's the second quest for this area that we're going to do. Uh, head to the right here, and as you can see, there is another mirror. So as soon as you just interact with it, that'll be another fast travel point completed. Done. And Mr. Burns, excellent. Um, otherwise, what we could do, we can just head all the way back down now. So back into the main foyer of the mansion. Uh, again, you may come out on the left or the right. Either way, you're going straight up the stairs. We're going to take a right and then right again. Or sort of go down towards you. Uh, just after we smash these pots. What's going to happen is the camera's going to change angle. And there is another figurine right here with a couple of pots. So that's the next figurine collectible done and done. And I mean done. Uh, there is a little piece of mask here. But we don't have, we haven't started the quest yet. So that's why we can't pick it up. Otherwise we can head all the way to the left. Left up. Straight through into this double door room. And head straight to the end to see Jack Black as Kung Fu Panda. Oh yes, very wise. Uh, we do have another quest, so now we're going to be able to do that then. Uh, pick up the mask. The first one is going to be on the right-hand side door. So just before you leave, go to the right and you can see it quite well hidden right there. But that is the first one done. That's the first mask piece. Uh, next up, out of this room, I'm going to go straight left. And we're going to grab, grab, smash a couple of pots again, because that's just the kind of person we are. Otherwise, we can head down, and the next piece is on the chair, right there. Chilling, killing, a little bit of illing, with no filling, in your tithing. Yeah. Anyway, we can now head all the way down, and into the previous area. Smash open again a couple of pots. Get that money, yo. And of course, now we're going to grab this mask that we could not earlier. So, grab the mask PHA. Uh, again, smash open what you want, get that money flowing, going, a little bit of mowing. Head down the steps, down the steps again, and to the left, and on the left-hand side, on the settee, or the couch, or whatever you want to call it, is the final mask piece, Liberation. If I was French, Liberation. Right, so, go up to the bunny in the back here, speak to him, and we did, we did, we've got a mask piece. So now we're going to look bloody lovely. And exactly what we're going to do is press the start button. Eventually. Press it. Press it now. Ha scroll over to hats and then press the A button to equip the masquerade mask. That's going to get us the an actor achievement. An actor! Exclamation mark. So with that one done, we can now head back down. And then what we're going to do, head into the main foyer. I uh, don't think this is the part where we... It's In fact, it's not at all. It's Oh, in fact, it is the part. Sorry. Try going up the stairs and we're going to get attacked. Now, uh, these things, like I said, they'll just try to hit you, kick you, and throw some fireballs at you. And apparently spin at you as well. So, not that he's doing a very good job, but just be aware of that one. Obviously, as normal, left bumper and then right bumper your way into them. And then just kill him dead. There's a couple of waves that we need to do.
Oh, damn! That seemed to last a long while, didn't it? But once that's done, you'll get the surprise exclamation mark achievement. Now we can head back up the steps and go all the way into the top room again. Again, smashing any pots and getting some all the money that you can. Speak to Jack Black Kung Fu Panda Bear right here, and he is going to let us in. Ha oh, yeah! So if you're wondering if this is very familiar, well, you know exactly what it's sort of based on. Um, but we do have another quest that we've got to do. So we've got to find nine piles of clothes. The first one is just um, to the top right here, next to the small mirror, which we can't interact with. Second one is on the right-hand side again, just close to the bunny and the clothes hooks. Third one is not behind there, that's just another pot. Uh, but the third one, if we go to the left, they're all in sort of this little area. And the third one would have been on the table right there, but I missed it. So we can continue heading to the left. There's the next pile of clothes then. And then when we head down, there is another pile of clothes. Uh, which we just skipped past apparently, but there is the next one anyway, just to the right of us. There's another two that we need to grab. So basically there's three in that small little area that we just were. So it should be on six. The seventh one is just to the left of us. Um, hit this pot. And then the eighth piece of clothes. If we head up, there it is. Just... Close to where Tweedledum or Tweedledee is. And the last one is on this big desk, statue desk. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and speak to Dodgy Bunny. Oh, in fact, no, sorry, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is go to where Tweedledee and Tweedledum are and just quickly as you can, pile all the clothes on each desk. So you need to do it on the left and the right as well. Um, I'm not sure if they can actually catch you with this one. Um, this, I've literally done this first time without literally failing or anything. So now we can speak to the Mad Hatter. And uh, yeah, another boss fight with the two bad boys is coming up very, very soon. So all you need to do now is talk to Tweedle Twonk and Tweedle Twat. Um, and he's going to be like, yay, we're all good, right, everyone go home, but of course we are going to fight them now. Um, here's another figurine, by the way, top right-hand corner, so make sure to be grabbing this figurine as well. Again, if you do end up missing one for some reason, just have a look at the timestamps and see which one that you may miss, and just go through each area. Otherwise, once we come through here... Uh, oop, don't know what happened there. Um, we have two bosses to kill. Now, again, as always, I will um, do the left bumper with the ice bullets and the right bumper with the speed. Now, what they're going to do is try and swing at you, um, obviously above your head, and try and swing from you like this all around, which will hurt just a bit. So what you need to do then is just keep, keep him coming. As soon as he hits the ground, you can get behind him and do a flurry of attacks with your sword. Uh, but they are the best ways to fight these. Um, to be honest, it's probably better if you can, just uh, trying to kill one off first and then the other. If not, you know, it doesn't matter. They're both going to succumb to the devil anyway.
Ah, oh, fair play, the Tweedle Twins get no love in video games, do they? Right, so once that's done, we'll get the um, certain, uh, certain call, curtain call achievement, and now we can head um, into this area, where there is another mirror on the right, so interact with that one, it's another fast travel point, plus more for the achievement, which we can do. Um, if you want to be having a look, you can, and that's exactly what we're going to do, man. Um, but actually, no, we're not. So we're not. We're not going anywhere. We're just going to smash open a couple of these pots, and make sure to grab the paint in here as well on the right-hand side. That's for another quest. So just make sure to pick up the tea party painting, and we've got the little Rayman things right there. Um, interact with the lever there on the the left, and that'll give us another quest. And then interact with this thing on the floor. It's time. Time to leave. Right, so we can head back down with our big uh, Majora's Mask Masquerade mask on. Uh, nothing on there, just a random bits of bits and burps. Now we can interact with the mirror. Now we can. And where would you like to go today, sir? Free of charge, of course. We go into the uh, Soot Bunny's basement. And then what we're going to do, head down. And we're going to interact with the left bunny in just a moment. But before that, we can head straight out. Come to the left, and we're gonna... Well, you can, again, kill those enemies if you wish, but we're not gonna bother. Um, we're actually just gonna head all the way up the stairs. Go through to where Jack Black Panda Bear was. Go to the left. And now we can interact with this and do this little puzzle. I'm just gonna tell you the answer, because it's nice and easier that way. But the left picture is gonna be the hat. The middle picture is going to be the gear icon. And the final one is going to be a pair of scissors. So hat... Uh, cog and scissors. Press and hold the A button here to confirm, and that'll go click, clack, clue, lickety cackety boo. But that actually gives us the shining emblem, which of course we need for the little bunny man downstairs, because he's too little to get it himself. Right. Uh, so from here, then we can now head out and go back down, back down the stairs again, ignoring the enemies. They would have respawned. If you, want to re uh, if you want to kill him, good stuff. If not, then that's equally as good stuff. Head to the left, and then go ahead and speak to the left-hand side bunny, and that's voila, boy. Job done, boy. And so now we can just head out to the right, through to the mirror. Out to the right, through to the mirror. I meant go to the right and through the mirror. Uh, you know, I'm uh, apparently word lexic today. Uh, go to the top one then, the Victorian house. We can head out, down, and to the right. We can interact with the uh, space, and it is where the tea party painting is. So once that's done, we're actually just going to interact with it and jump straight through. This definitely doesn't have any Alice in Wonderland vibes at all to it. None at all. Right, so... Go to the left ever so slightly, because there is another figurine here, right in this teapot. Again, very easily missed that one. So make sure to grab that teapot. And now we're going to have to do a quest. Uh, grab this teacup. It may look pointless now, but it's actually needed for a quest slash achievement. So head left up the hill. Uh, interact with the mirror again, just to get the fast travel point going uh, again. And then once that is done, we're going to talk to Floppy Bags, or whatever his name is, Toppy, Toppy Bags. So he wants uh, his teacup, so, well, I mean, he could just look for him himself, but well, I guess we'll do it. So head down, and just keep heading down, and right here, right next to this sort of mushroom jungle thing, that right there on the briefcases was the uh, next teacup. Over to the left-hand side, you can smash a couple of pots and find, find another teacup. From here, we are going to uh, do some smashing. There is a split path. So the first one, we're actually going to head left and come into this new area. Head all the way down, smashy smash and grab. To the right then, right there is the next teacup. Man, he could have probably found this, these himself easily. Uh, find another teacup right at the very end, just next to the chest. Interact with the chest, but um, it's a bit of slimy slime bags that we are needing. Or that we can't open it up because it's slimy slime bags. So another two teacups then in that area coming out. Um, we're going to keep heading down and sort of to the left. I believe that's probably it now actually. I think that is it. Yeah. So talk to Toppy Floppy Big Noppy. 
And then what you're going to have to do is, well, that's it. Just, <laughs> that's just what I need. It would be if you need a brew. But it gives us a medium health potion and we get the teacups for top of your achievement as well. So what we're going to do now, we're going to head down to that split path. This time we're going to be taking a right. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. Um, and we are going to be doing another boss battle ever so soon. In fact, I say soon, it's going to be right here. So it's basically like a big fat turtle thing who you annoy by waking him up or something. Uh, and again, oh, with a slug with uh, very British teeth, apparently. So it's the same thing as always there. What he's going to do, if you get too close to his face, he's going to try and charge you. He's going to try and bite you. And he leaves all this green gunk out of his... Um, behind as well so obviously when he starts doing that move out of the green fart stuff and he's going to shoot some stuff in the air as well um but yeah so just keep doing that keep using your abilities and then just keep getting around him uh, you should be able to get around him quite easily uh so but just keep smashing him with the sword and this fight shouldn't take too long <laughs> That's a piece of a cake, all done. Right, we've got a slimy key. <laughs> Apparently just good enough for the slimy treasure. Plus, we now get a new power. With the left trigger, what you can do is like a flurry of attacks. So press the left trigger and that obviously gets a flurry of attacks and uh, deals quite a bit more damage as well. So that is a third skill, um, which is going to come in mega use uh, for fights and boss battles later on. So again, nothing will change in terms of that. Every fight I go into, I press the left bumper, and then the left trigger, and then the um, right bumper for a little dash. So anyway, we're going to head back up, go um, up to the left this time, so we can head back down to where we found the two teacups earlier on. Again, smashing pots on your way as well, get, might as well get some money for your troubles. Now we can actually interact with the slimy treasure chest, and ta-da, what do we get? Oh, it's uh, blue cheese cupcake, which is just... Nah, nobody's fancying that. Nobody fancy that at all. And if you like a bit of blue cheese cupcake, well, goddamn, that's some uh, insane tastes you've got there. Right, so uh, once this one is done, what we're actually going to do, we're going to go back through to the mirror. We're actually going to go back to the Victorian house, first of all, because we've got a couple of items that we need to get rid of in order to complete some questy eyes. So, to the right first in the same room, speak to the little um, bunny thing, the uh, Togu, the chef, or whatever his name is. He gives us a clock hand. Well, thank you very much. We've given him the blue smelly cheesecake. Job done. He's happy with that one. So, uh, head uh, down now. Um, we are going to head to the... Uh, left, I believe. I think we're going to the shop now. Uh, again, smash all the pots that you want on your way. Uh, in fact, no, we are... Yes, we are going to the left. Sorry, I was getting a bit ahead of myself there. But we are going to the left. Um, smash that open and then go ahead and grab, you know, a couple more bombs, a couple more potions. Like I said earlier, remember not to just continuously buy them like I'm doing because... I think it messes up the achievement tracker. So if you're going to buy bombs especially, do it one by one. Leave it a few seconds, buy another one, leave it a few seconds, etc, etc. Do the same with the potions as well, sort of just in case. Because even if you have a look now, you'll see that um, <laughs> the achievement tracker does take just a little while to catch up. So once you've um, got everything sorted there, we can now head back through to the house and interact with the mirror once more. And this time we're off to the witch's house attic. Oh man, some spooky stuff going on right here. 
Uh, but no, we go into the witch's house attic. Um, remember I said about um, sleeping in the witch's bed? Um, and apparently I ended up forgetting. I, I told you, but I ended up forgetting to do it. So that's what we're going to do uh, in just a bit. But we're going to go to Decker. We're going to level up a couple of times. As many times as we can. There we go. So we're up to level 9 now out of 20. So that's all good. Uh, smash open the pots. Interact with Bunny Face right here again. And we should be on, what's that, 9. So we're, we, as you can see in the top right hand corner, you should also be on 9 as well. One more and we can get the next tier. How exciting. Right, so from here then, what we're actually going to do, just before heading back up to the Witch's Attic, we're going to go through, go to the right, up the ladder, interact with her bed. That'll get you the well-rested achievement. Get you some full health. And we can head back outside and up through to the attic into the mirror again. Right, we're going to be coming up to another boss battle soon, so head back to the tea party once again. Boss is coming out of my asses right here in this game. But again, yeah, they're, they're enjoyable bosses and they're not too frustrating. You may die a few times, but that's a risk I'm not willing to take. Get out of there, soldier! So anyway, head to the right, and this is where we fought, uh, what's his name? Us, Ugask the Glutton. Basically a big snail with bad teeth and breath. Um, there is a little figurine. Now, um, I actually forget about this one uh, the first time. Uh, so here's mirror first, but the figurine is basically right at the very top where the serpent is. Uh, right next to him in a teacup is where the figurine is. So uh, if you want to grab that now, that'll be great. If not, then uh, don't worry, because we come, we come back later anyway. So keep heading up, have a little chat, and again, press the Y button, of course. Hold and press the Y button and just skip everything. And we need to find some uh, flowery things. So the first one's right here, right where the question mark is. Uh, we actually have to go down the stairs and up, of course. <laughs> um, they looked, so they do look slightly different than the other flowers. Uh, they are called clove jolts. Uh, so go ahead, grab that first one. Then there is five that we need to, to gra uh, grab. So if we continue heading down, there's the second one. Then just on this sort of. Uh, Path, bridge, whatever you want to call it. There's the second clove jolt. Uh, third one then, smash open some pots. If we can, if we just sort of hug the left-hand side wall, there's going to be a little path that we can go up here. There is the third one. Ah, I need about tree fitty. Uh, well, we've got tree, but we need the fitty now. So uh, just stick with this sort of left-hand side path. And there is the fourth one right in the middle next to a couple of plates. And to get the tree of the fiddy, to get the fiddy of the tree, uh, continue heading down. And again, sort of hug the sort of left-hand side path. There's another p path that we can go down, head to the left. And there it is, Incredible. Incredible. So, all you need to do now is smash open as many pots as you want. And then go straight up and interact with the serpent to start Am's another boss fight. Am's my gods. So, talk to him again to start. Now, he only really has, once again, sort of three moves. He sort of flies about in a teacup. So, what he tries to do is, obviously, um, tries to breathe, like, big yellow fire dots at him. You can press the left bumper to actually attack, uh, damage them from afar. So, with these, just try and dash and try and try and avoid them the best you can. Now, e either one of them will start coming down. If it's the one on the right, just head to the left, and then you can get some good wax in. Left trigger as well to obviously get that one in. The middle one, when the middle one starts coming down, it is the right one again, it's going to be random for you, but when the middle one comes down, he actually flattens his arms out as well. So just, uh, just be aware of that one. As you can see, there we go, he flattens his arms, so you just need to be careful with that one. Otherwise, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Just the, the, the fire breathing stuff, and one of them is going to try and stick his head down. So just be careful which one it is, 
and then keep using your abilities on all of them, especially your Ice Blaster Charge when it's all charged up like a charging charge Motron. Take this. Now again, the thing that's what I like about this game is everything looks just super intimidatingly scary. But they're generally quite easy. Um, but we come up into this new area anyway, smash open that, we get the achievement of course for beating him, and then have a look in this chest. Um, and uh, we'll grab the witch's hat, so you press the start button, scroll across the hat, put the witch's hat on, that'll get you the It's Pointy achievement. Oh, oh, are you just pointy, or are you happy to see me? Uh, just pointy. Um, and that's the reason, by the way, I didn't get that figurine from the teacup, because I thought you could just go ahead and uh, grab it straight after the boss fight, but it puts us in this area, so, uh, you know, all good. Um, now you speak with Finnan, and what he's going to do is open up this little path in the hollow, you're going to go in, and all you got to do is uh, run over to the heart straight in front of you, smash it open a couple of times, and that'll be the first of three hearts. Oh, you have stolen my heart. So once that's done, what we can do, we can actually move on. Uh, you can actually just keep them, uh, keep them sort of in your inventory or whatever and put them in later, but I'll just show you how it exactly goes. So we head to the right, we're gonna head up to one of these doors. I say one of these doors, it's the only door. Uh, press the A button to interact with it and that'll put the heart in. And that is job done. But we are be, uh, we are be, we, we are going to go to a completely new area now. So we head to the right. Remember, this is where the big chunky cat was, and the figurine, if you um, haven't got it yet. Uh, but you should have, hopefully. And it was right next to the giant cat there. Uh, but basically, we're off to the funicular. Funicular. Ah, right, that'll do, that'll do me. That'll do me, sir, technology. So, uh, interact with the clock on the left-hand side. We've got the clock hand, of course, so now we can order a funicular ta ticket. And that is with the ticket machine at the back of the room. Uh, once you've done that, um, if you've got 100 coins, just pay it. If you don't have 100 coins, just keep going back and forth in each area, smashing the pots open until you get 100 monies. Otherwise, we can head straight in, and away we go! I mean, nobody's there. You could have literally just stole one, but there we go. That's Steelin's round. It's round. Right, so, let us head down the steps then. Again, smash open some money, if so wish to be desired. And we are going to speak to a chunky old crane right now. Well, right after we interact with this mirror. It's another fast uh, fast travel point to interact with the mirror. This is the lily pond. And we are going to speak to the crane, who is just to the right of us, to get the guardian achievement. And, of course, yet another quest. <laughs> And so immediately, what we're going to do is grab another figurine. Man, they're popping up everywhere. So, over to the right, you can see the sleeping goddess. Oh, she looks like me when she sleeps. Just so beautiful. Um, and then there's the figure on her neck or shoulder or whatever. Dance to get rid of that one, and then we're good to go. Um, so that's the next figurine. That should be your tenth one now, I believe. Otherwise, we can head all the way to the back to interact with this frog. So we're going to take the frog quiz uh, to get the frog facts achievement here. Now, basically, if you just want them quick, the answers the answers are yes, no, and yes. Um, so, yeah. 
So don't actually skip this one, because you won't know the question. I did go a little bit quick there, I accidentally done that, but it is yes for the first answer. And then it is no for the second answer, because frogs apparently can hold their breath for longer than an hour. So, no. And for the final one, it's going to be yes, and that'll get you the frog fact achievement. Iron helps us play! Am I a frog? No, you are Rodden Todd Flanders. Uh, so once that's done, we can head up the steps and go through into the next area. Frog fact. And we can uh, interact with, um, what's his name? Oh, Cockatrice. <laughs> that just sounds like three cock. Cockatrice. Uh, anyway, you can go up, you can go ahead and speak to the crab if you want, it's pretty much, uh, pretty pointless, um, but we will be fighting him in just a little bit, we do have a puzzle to solve first. So head over to the right hand side, you need to speak to um, three cocks to get the quest going, um, so interact with this sort of runestone, big runestone thing here, that'll be the runestone puzzle going, and then what we can do is, uh, you need to head back down the steps, Head to the right, or sort of down and to the right. And then what you're going to see then is, if you interact with this, these are the codes that we need. And then we have to interact with uh, certain runes in a particular order. So this is the first one, just to the left there. That is the one for strength. That's got me all over it. <laughs> Strong. If we head around, and keep going, keep going to the left, move your camera a bit, and there's the second rune. This one is for Grace. Oh yeah, Grace. Oh yeah, Dominoes. Um, if we go past the old crab bags, Mr. Crab's on the left. And then just keep basically heading forward. Here is the third rune. This one is for love. Merle, Merle, love to you, Vermeon. Gonna lay you down by the fire. So if we head over to the right, this is where the fourth rune is. This is for Courage, the Cowardly Dog. And that's it. Now we've got to find the code. We can't just... We can't just skip any of this puzzle, we actually have to read the code, and obviously, like I said, the code is um, that big code-looking thing that I showed you earlier on. So, come down the screen, up, there's the code, and then you just have to go back up to the door and then put the puzzle in this particular order. So, we're not going to interact the pre uh, the in activate the pressure plate, we don't need to yet, so what you need to do is interact with the third one first. So press the third one for Courage, the Cowardly Dog, then the first one for Me Strength, then the fourth one for Lerove, and then the second one for Gracier. Once that's done, so again that's 3, 1, 4, 2, activate the pressure pad and we are good to go, you'll get the Ancient Wisdom achievement as well. And now what you're going to do is interact with this flower on the left and then you're going to be in, uh, get thrust upon a monster ambush. Um, so again... These guys here will just they'll try and throw things at you, try and stab you with a spear. And there's a big enemy as well. But uh, again, just like all the other enemies, they're not too bad. So you'll have two waves of these. So smash, crash, crash, bash. Once you have beaten Big Balls and his tiny little ball minions, um, we can now go and grab this next flower right here. It is the flower. It's the flower that the crane wanted. Ember Lotus. Looks good, looks good. 
And after all that, then we can just head straight back down and straight out. Job done. Uh, again, smash open a couple of pots if you want. Otherwise, we're just going to go ahead and speak to... Um, in fact, we're going to interact with the Sleeping Goddess first. I mean, there would be the Sleeping Goddess, but we're actually trying to look for the exit. And this is not it at all. It's um, We need to be heading back down, which is, of course, in the middle of the path. So that's why you see me look like um, slight douchebaggery right now. There we go. So we finally made it then. So we're just going to head down the steps. Continue. Um, there is the sleeping goddess. Oh, in fact, oh, I was in the wrong place. Sorry. There's the sleeping goddess. So now we... <laughs> oh, man. So now we give the ember lotus to the sleeping goddess. She turns into mold or something. And then we can just go ahead to the left and interact with the crane. There we go. We've got a crane feather, which... It's going to come in handy, apparently for something. So uh, what we're actually going to do now, we are going to level up. So what we're going to do is head all the way back to the witch's house attic. Head all the way back down and interact with Decker. Since you should be on level 9, you should now get the stronger achievement for getting to level 10. Right, lovely job, and while we're here as well, go and speak to the rabbit thing, rabbit juggers, the Artois, or whatever his name is, Stellar Artois, and um, you can now get the second tier, because we now have 10 of the 18. Um, so once that one is done, then we can actually, uh, again, if you need in a bit more money or or whatever, you if you need to buy some more potions, you can interact with um, Clammy's, uh, Clammy's potion hands, hmm, delicious. Um, again, it's always worth doing as well, uh, because obviously we need the achievement for buying 30 potions. So, while you can, it's always worth just grabbing a few more anyway. Otherwise, we can head back out, uh, back up. And we are actually going to go back to the Lily Pond to defeat Helios the Golden. So, back to the Lily Pond there, at the bottom. And, uh, the crab basically comes in, he basically comes in three, um... Three, uh, yeah, what's the word? You know, three sections. So there's three three different phases. That's what I'm after. Three phases here. So to actually uh, start the battle, you need to hit him three times. If you're too close to him, he's going to try and pincer you with his pincers, because that is what crabs do. Um, he will also try and chuck stuff up in the air and things like that. So again, it's just, it's worth um, just coming back. So staying away from him, using your abilities on him, and then coming up to him and smashing him down. There we go. You don't actually have to stay up here, by the way. You can actually head uh, down, and he will just remain there. So, as you can see. So, there you go, if you want to do that. His pinches do hurt mind, as crabs would do. So, I like money. Now, you want to celebrate, right? Wrong! We ain't celebrating yet. He's not quite done. We need to head into the middle, and there's going to be a whole bunch of small enemies that are going to appear. It's the ones from earlier with, like, long spears and one that'll try to bite you, so just kill these, smash these, brown and bread, girl. <laughs> Once they're done, we're going to head to the right, and uh, Helios should appear again. Just there he is, just at the top there. So again, it's the same sort of moves, um, but as usual, like I said, don't do what I just done there, like an absolute dong bag. Um, obviously, as I said, keep your distance, use your abilities, smash him dead, and just keep doing that then. Or, you know, if you want to fight and get straight in there, then that's completely up to you. However you want to fight, use good, man. Take this! Oh. 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 
And once Bad Brosis is done again, over to the right hand side, Helios is going to appear for the final time, but the enemies are going to appear as well. So, uh, it's up to you if you just want to go straight for the crab, um, but it's probably worth um, keeping your distance from old Mr. Krabs and just killing these smaller enemies first. However you do it, it's up to you. But just keep using the same tactics and job good. <laughs> That's nice, mate. That's nice. So once that's done, go ahead and speak to old Tricock, uh, Cockatrice. He's going to give us a ruby egg. Which, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could have just stole it and run. What's the chicken going to do? Cry? Well, <laughs> let's uh, shame. Anyway, we can now head up to the left for the first time into this new area. There is going to be a bunch of new enemies in just a moment, but on the right-hand side is another figurine, so make sure to go ahead, dance to the music, and grab that figurine before. Um, if you want to, just make sure you're all healthed up and everything. If you feel like you're all good, you can go ahead and speak to this big dragon. Now, because we got the two items that he's needed, we don't actually have to go back and do anything. Just uh, speak to him a couple of times. Here we go. So once, twice, three times a dragon. But I got an arrow in the knee. But it is going to be a monster ambush. Now these enemies are pretty much the most annoying ones. They, they will throw green balls at you, th green acid balls. And as I said, they will also try and bite you like that. So they can be a bit of a pain. If you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, as you can see, just dash yourself over to the other side. Give yourself a little potion or a little breather or something. And then continue on the onslaught. So once these are done then, you see the little beams of light sticking up out of the ground? You need to make sure to grab at least two of these. And the reason being, we need it to make an acid bomb later. So any things, uh, any things that these enemies drop, make sure to pick them up. And again, just do the same tactic as you just did. Oh no, man, for the last wave, it's going to be two big chunky boy enemies. Um, the health isn't anymore. You can literally just use all your abilities if you want. But they do have kind of a hard swing, as you can see. So, um, yeah, just uh, keep your distance, keep using your abilities, and then, yeah, just try and smash them down. So again, if they dropped any items, you would have to uh, pick up anything they dropped. Otherwise, we're going into another boss fight called Shani the Sorceress. Um, so just keep heading left and then we're going to start. So a couple of enemies will appear as she's shooting at you. But we're not... The, the things that we need to focus on, there are two tentacles on either side. And all you've got to do then is just hit those two. Shani will stop flying and come down. And uh, yeah... 
then you can give her a good whack. So, as you can see, so straight away on the right hand side, hit this first tentacle, dash to the left, hit this next tentacle. She will start trying to fly some things at you, but uh, for now we're just going to leave it there. You can also press the left bumper to, to, even when she's in the air to keep uh, smashing her with your ice blast. But with this one, just keep hitting the X button. Uh, it's going to take her three times to get to basically get down. So here these enemies appear. She will start either fl um, getting some uh, some fire stuff for you, or if she shoots this green laser beam, as you can just see, make sure to just hide behind one of the tentacles. Otherwise, uh, that'll damage you pretty bad. So as soon as she goes green, um, literally just hide behind one of these tentacles. Not not as uh, perfect as I was doing. But to uh, get these tentacles free, you do need to kill all the remaining small enemies. So as soon as you kill them, the tentacles will appear, and then you can go and smash them. And do the same thing you've done earlier with Shani. <laughs> So as it turns out then, Shani is a bit of a fanny, um, uh, but that gets us the Spellbound achievement and we're going to get the all skilled up achievement because we are going to get the last uh, combat skill of Spliff. Now this one is genuinely fantastic, press the right trigger and that gives off quite a chunk of damage. So um, as I said, with any fights and any boss fights and everything, we're going to keep doing the same thing. As soon as you're near enemies, press the right trigger first, I do. Uh, then left bumper, then, you know, absolutely everything. So we're always going to use the combat skills, then sword them up, then the combat skills, sword them up, etc, etc. So if we head to the left here, you can interact with this mirror. It's another fast travel point. And, ah, oh, it's the mirror plaza. Prefer a mirrored pizza, to be honest, but there we go. Um, you can speak to the crane if you want. Not very important, but we do have the... Uh, elevator lever on the left there, so make sure to grab that one. That is for the quest, which we obviously couldn't do earlier. And then what we're going to do is if we continue to head to the right. There we go. It looks like it's going to be a maze, but it's actually not. It's not that amazing. Yeah, <laughs> you get it? Amazing. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so smash that open, and then we go into this part. So all you all you need to do is literally just go around. A r it's literally just one big massive circle, but you've got to keep hitting every piece of mirror shard that you see. Some will give you nothing, but um, some will give you a mirror shard, so for every one you hit, you should have five. So just keep going around and hitting them. So I think they are randomly located, but you can, you, you literally, as long as you've hit them all, you should get every single one. A uh, couple of pots in here as well, as I always say. Now this mirror, 
Well, we can go to the botanist this way, but we can't. So, um, because <laughs> we need some glues, or we need some glue or something. Uh, which, again, we can't get before. We have to get now. So, don't go all the way to the left yet. There is a figurine hiding very nicely in this bush. There it is. So make sure to grab this next figurine. Give it a little dance. Sugar. How about these cookies, sugar? Mm. And then we can head all the way back down, around. And, uh, yeah, so obviously, you know, dash in as well. That'll make you go faster. Just in case you didn't figure that one out already. Um, there is no enemies on this bit ne uh, yet, but there will be. Next time we come, so, uh, you know, be aware. But for now, we're going to head into the mirror. And this time, we are going to head... To oh, sorry, sorry, we're not, we're not heading there. Sorry, that was uh, my bad. <laughs> Where we are actually going to head, then, is to the uh, Hydra's Nest. Because we're actually going to get the, the figurine, which, again, we couldn't get it here. Purely because... Um, I thought we could get it after the Hydra boss fight, um, and we couldn't. So, yeah, and that's why I said to try and get it before if you can, but basically, it's in the teapot to the right of us. So you'll actually have to go down the little steps, which I just came up, sorry. And hidden right there, very fantastically, is the next figurine, which is just you, God, you sneaky little yeah. Right, so we basically will never have to come back here again. The Hydra is licking his tail. And licking what else snakes have down there. And we can head back into the mirror. Where do you think we're going now? Well, I'll tell you. It's the witch's house attic. Straight back down. We're going to see if we can just... Um, we're going to see if we can level up here with Decker again. And interact with the bird thing on the right. To get some more... See if we can get another tier as well. Right then, so now we're going to head to the theatre storage room. So let's once again glass our ass through the mirror. Oh, glassy ass. And then go to the theatre storage room. That's a British person with a lisp trying to pronounce gracias, that one. Oh, gracias. Uh, you should be on 29 out of 50 achievements as well, if you want to have a little double check right there. Should be on 29 out of 50. So, uh, we're back into the storage room. We're going to continue heading straight, because now we can interact with the lever, the elevator lever. There we go. As it turns out, yes, it's time. Now we're going to use it. And once again, we can just skip, skippity, skip, skip, skip. Right, two boss fights coming up now. The first one is against the Woodlock Dodo. And, as I said, just like the other boss, it'll try. if you're far away, it'll try and fling stuff at you. If you're close to it, it's going to try and, uh, you know, peck you to death. Um, so, you, again, you're going to keep doing everything. Now, I will always start every fight. Now, I will always start with the right trigger attack, then the left bumper, and then the left trigger one, just, just because... But if you want to actually hit the enemy, that'll always be handy. Uh, but this enemy is not bad. If you can try and stay underneath him, he'll go down easier than a pie in pie face. Watch out! There we go. I told you it went down quicker than a Homer Simpson pie. So, we get a dodo token. Uh, you don't have to speak to the robot, that's all good. Uh, on the right-hand side, there is a whole bunch of pots that we can smash open, so... Give me the green, give me the money, give me the money and the green. And then all we're doing, we're gonna head up. Uh, over to the left is some more pots if you want to grab some more money. Otherwise, we're going through to the next part to fight yet another boss, Eagle Blade Prime. Again, looks intimidating, looks very scary. But it's the same thing as we've just done with the dodo. Use your four abilities, and then you can go ahead and smash it. Obviously, uh, make sure to keep healing yourself if needed.
I did almost get completely fudged up by him there, but uh, hey, no prime for my prime, you eagle blade prime. So a couple of pots again. Now before heading through the next door, there is another figurine that we're going to grab. So don't go up the stairs. Uh, stay low. Stay low, stay chariot, as the English would say. Or something like that. But there's the figurine then, just chilling in the gear cog. And now we can head upstairs. And then we've got to fight no one. We're all good. Uh, we don't actually have to fight anyone now. So if you didn't like those bosses, I've got good news for you. But there is a figurine in plain sight here on the left-hand side, so make sure to interact with the figure. Dance, 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 dance. They're falling apart half term. Uh, so that's the next figurine done. So that should be 15 figurines now, I believe. So we should only have three left. Uh, otherwise, you can speak to Mechanical Broski. He's going to give us a Planet Arium token. And then we can interact with this lever here. Three coin slots. We're going to pop those in. That's going to get us the Stardust achievement. And if anybody knows why I said Planetarium as Planetarium, you will be a South... You are a South Park fan. <laughs> Early South Park. Right, so there's the mechanical helper. He can open the door for us. Don't know why he couldn't have just done that anyway. Uh, probably because he needed to kill a couple of bosses for him. But there we go. So we're done with this area now. We can actually just head straight through. And, ooh, this is looking nice. Um, more importantly, though, we're going to interact with the blue chest. The reason we're doing that, there is a nice little bunny top hat in here. So, again, press start, go over to hats, uh, equip the bunny hat. That's going to get us the extraordinary exclamation mark achievement there, Squire. And you're going to speak with Finnan, and we are going to finally get the second heart relic. You remember the drill, straight up, smash it a few times, heart, stick it... I don't know where uh, Testy Culls is supposed to fit it, but she's popped it somewhere. So, Queen Cheddar Cheese did just appear. Um, that will actually give us the kidnapped achievement as well, because she abducted some bras. Um, all right, so let's, let's get on it, yeah? Yo, 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 yo! Just having a bit of a spin, you know, why not? Anyway, head through to the Victorian house. Go to the right. And we're going to interact with this candle. Apparently, we found a candle, would you believe? Um, but that actually gives us the, um, what we need it for is the wax, actually, to update the shattered mirror. That's why we're doing that. So, while you're here, then, if you want to nip to the shop to grab a couple more bombs and a couple of more potions, you're more than welcome to do that. Again, as I said, you can do the whole bomb and potion achievements after the game is finished as well, if you want. You won't miss anything, because once you can continue, you can go anywhere you want. And that is what I like in a game. None of this point of no return bullcrap. Redfall? Hmm? Yeah, I'm looking at you, boy. Also, while you're here, make sure to be picking up the anti-poison ring for 300. Um, it's basically so we can get through a poisonous bit in just a little bit. Uh, a poisonous bit in... Uh, yeah, not too far away. But once we have got the anti-poison ring... Um, I do apologise. It, it, it appears as if things are lagging right now. Um, no, no, they're not lagging, I'm just buying things. Um, so yeah, as I said, as I said earlier then, make sure to get the anti-poison ring now, just so that it is in your, um, your inventory. There's the bombs away in shopping spree. Now I should be on a lot more than that, that's why I said to do it slowly. Make sure to buy the bombs and everything slowly. Um, so once you've got the anti-poison ring, as I said, there was a bit of an edit here because I actually forgot it and had to come back, but that's fine. So make sure to pick up that ring. Purely because we don't have to come back and then buy the ring later on. So I hope I didn't just waffle on too much and um, uh, you listened to me and actually bought the anti-poison ring. Otherwise, we can just head back straight up and straight through the mirror. We are off to the mirror, mirror, 
Mirror Platzer. Now, when we do appear, there's, there's going to be two monster ambushes with those these dog things that try to bite you and th throw green crap at you. So, uh, you know, kill these boys dead. Again, of course, making sure to pick up their old pitcher sacks, their old uh, dog sacks right there. Uh, that will be the two done. Then we can just head over to the left. Uh, I'm just going to grab, uh, smash open a couple more of these pots. Um, otherwise, there's nothing else over here. So once that's done, we can go back through to the next area. Uh, so the next area with a big swirly twirly thing. And now we can actually use the candle wax and go through to the botanist garden. Oh, it's all kicking off now. <laughs> Right, so, as we sit here then, there's going to be more dogs and uh, there's a couple of pseudo wudos from Pokemon just chilling as well, so just go ahead and smash them all in the nuts for now. Once the last bad boy's nuts has been broken into, don't go all the way up just yet. There's another figurine right here in the little rose bush next to this statue bug thing. So make sure to pick that figurine up. There we go. Now, when we go up, there is going to be another two pseudo wudos just chilling. Um, well, chilling and trying to kill in you. So again, kill these boys. Now, I would love to show you the way the puzzle, um, how to figure out this puzzle out, but I'm not actually going to do that. I'm just going to show you the puzzle solution instead. So, on the left statue, it's two for bear and zero for uh, rats or mice or whatever. So, confirm that. So, it's uh, the bear's two and the mice nil. That just sounds like a, um, that just sounds like an American, American egg ball score, doesn't it? Or some Australian egg ball. Um, anyway, monster ambush happens again. Kill him, kill him, slit him. As you can see then, that turned lovely. Hello! Um, but yeah, monster ambushes are just annoying. Why are you trying to kill me, man? I ain't done nothing. 
So, on to the next one again. Obviously, always make sure to uh, up update your health if you want. So, for this one then, the owls, it's 6-4. So, the owls have 6, the sheep have 4. And that's a championship win for the owls. And again, once that's done, it's another monster ambush, but the door will open after this one. So, all the pseudo woodos get away. My name is Tess T. Culls of some barn house. You will not pass me. Anyway, that opens up. We get an achievement there called Trick Question. That's for solving the animal puzzles. Again, unmissable. But because we've got the anti-poison ring as well, we can obviously just head straight in. If you don't have the anti-poison ring, you'll have to go back and buy it from the Victorian house part. Uh, just grabbing a few more pots and things. So off you go in. Again, a little bit of an edit there. Now, you can kill these enemies, or we can just skip them, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to interact with uh, Prince uh, King Charles here at the back. And there he is on his throne. And then we're going to go to the left-hand side. Sorry, I thought we were going to the right. We're going to the left first. Um, again, you can interact. Uh, you can ignore or kill the pseudo Rudos, but interact with the lever on the left. That's going to pop this uh, little uh, button down. So we can interact with that one. The box... Right, with that one done, this is only a very small area, so is that all good, man? So head to the left, uh, head to the right, sorry, and then continue on to the right. Now, these enemies I try to ignore, but I actually couldn't, so they just come at your ass quicker than an ass blasting ass master. Um, so you need to interact with the middle console, and then, as long as you picked up some of those pitcher sacks earlier on from these dogs, which you should have, um, you only needed two, um, then that will work. So if these enemies are too much, give them a slice. Ah, there we go. Leave me alone! So, uh, interact then with the right glass thing, right glass tube, right to uh, of the right of the console. And then we can interact with the middle of the console and that will craft us one... Aswid bomb. There it is. So again, you should have had uh, from the big enemies It was the right hand side tube and the smaller enemies the left hand side tube And uh, now we're gonna head out if I don't keep crashing into a wall uh, Go down interact with your bombs make sure to get the acid bomb out throw it at King Charles and King Charles will dissolve Just like the monarchy Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ooh is that controversial? I don't know Anyway, once you head in then, here is the goddamn botanist, this grasshopper. I Ernst. You gotta get botanist. Anyway, when we interact with the console to the right of him, we are going to have to do another boss fight, which is for defeat. Uh, this is Flora Esmeralda. It's a lovely name. But on the left-hand side, it's 180, and then it is minus 18 on the right-hand side with this little puzzle first. So 180 on the left, minus 18 on the right. Confirm it. And again, like I said, it's just like every other boss. It'll try and attack you if you get too close. It'll get some green stuff going. So again, I just take my time. Um, stay away from it. If you want to use some bombs, of course, be my guest. But I'll just use my abilities first. As soon as it's stunned or chills out for five, I'll try and grab a few, uh, you know, hits in with the sword. But again, for the majority and for the most part, just uh, stay away and use your abilities. And slice and dice and dog.
Now, of course, I understand. We'll get the pull the plug question as well for defeating Flora. And then we can head to the left and up the ladder. Obviously, I understand um, doing that will take a little bit of a while, a bit longer, but it's how it's how you win, right? So another figurine right here in this glass tube just behind the pots. So make sure to smash the pots, grab the little figure. That should now be 17, I believe, out of 18. And that's not an achievement. So unlucky it is. Ernst. Uh, but what we're going to do is head all the way to the back, interact with the hat, smash open the chest, that gives us a flower crown, so once again, we're going to press the start button, go to hats, interact with the flower of the crowning. Mmm, now I look good. I look more like a cull test than a test tea cull. Oh yeah. Right, and then from here then, uh, you can speak to Oinst if you want, but we're just going to speak to Finn. He's going to open up the way for us, and we are finally going to get the third and final heart. So there we go then, game over, that's it. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye! And of course we all know that is not the true end. Um, so we have the hearts. So what we can do now is we can actually, uh, just uh, grab a few more bucks right there in my bucket. Uh, but we can go to the right, we can interact with the big door and get it open. But before that I'm just going to go, uh, once we do this I'm going to go back to the left, interact with the little shop with Sonic the Meth Hog. And I am going to try and get all the potions and bombs achievement. Now, I only end up getting the uh, shopping spree achievement for buying 30 potions. Um, and then I'll come back a little bit later and get the bombs. Hopefully, you might have got those by now if you'd have uh, taken my advice and bought things slowly. So that the tracker can keep up with you. <laughs> So it should now be on 40 out of 50 achievements, and I'm just having a look, so yeah, theoretically I only need to buy three more, but I'm pretty sure I've bought more than 20. Anyway, now we can finally go into the final area. Dun, dun, dun. Now, um, we have to do a bit of stealthing. Now, by stealthing, you don't actually do much stealthing. What you have to do is basically just stay up to the left-hand side. As you can see, they can see me uh, as we go around to the left here. Hold and interact this, and then what we're going to do is go back on ourselves. So go up, so go up and around. Just keep hugging the sort of wall, as it were. Keep hugging the wall. Uh, make sure that that enemy is gone. But it appears that if you just keep hugging the wall, um, the enemies don't see you. So that's all good. If they do end up spotting you, you'll just uh, restart in front of Finn, and you'll just have to um, do it again. Um, but it is uh, quite easy this one. Obviously, they should be able to see a little girl running about, but they don't. So, there we go. So, head all the way to the back. As you can see, I literally just ran past this guy. He did notice. And then just keep hugging this outside wall. Keep hugging, keep hugging. Literally just went past him, even though we looked at me and went, What, oh, love? How's it going? And then that'll be the fourth one complete. Now, this is another boss fight that we have to do. Just like all the other boss fights, he's obviously going to try and smash you down. Obviously, his attacks do hurt, so obviously be aware of that. If you need health, you know, you do you, smash open the way. Um, but the best thing about these enemies, especially the little ones, are everyone you kill, um, they give you 1,000 XP each. So it's not a lot of grinding needed for the level 20 later on. Take this!
take me. Watch out. So, oh, big chunky nuts might be gone, but you have to still kill these small enemies. Um, you know, you know the drill by now. We've gotten it. Honestly, this is such a cool game. I really can't describe, and it looks brilliant as well. You know, I think people were more people were more disappointed about Redfall because you know we were all getting told this, this, that, and the other. Um, whereas this just went, here's the game. Do you enjoy it? Yes, we do. It's bloody beautiful, mate. So interact with the last figurine here on the left-hand side as well before heading in. That will that is the last one, and that'll get you the Dance Master achievement. So hopefully, um, hopefully you've been able to follow along and you have all of the 18 figurines. Again, if not, um, as I said, do not worry because you, even after the game's finished here, um, even after the game has finished, you can just go back and uh, uh, pick them up anyway, so you won't actually miss it. Uh, so head into the left-hand side room first and then go all the way down. Now... In that sort of main foyer right there, that's where we're going to be grinding to get to level 20. And I say grinding, it's going to be like five minutes of grinding. That is the kind of grinding that I can get behind. Uh, so you interact with um, old angry person right here. Again, a couple of pots, just if just in case you need some more money. Because who doesn't need more money? And uh, what we're going to do is actually grab the final mirror as well. So these guards are not going to look at you. You can go and kill them if you want. Um, which, as it turns out, I'm going to. Um, purely, basically, it's just to show you. So as soon as you kill one of these cardboard boxes... <laughs> that's funny. They're cards, cardboard boxes, that's funny. As soon as you see one, as you'll be able to see, you will get uh, 1,000 XP. There it is. That's 1,000 XP just for killing one of these enemies. So we're going to kill these ones first. Watch out! And then, once the cardboard boxes are done, we're going to head into the room on the right. And this is the, uh, the actual room where we're going to find the mirror. So, um, go to the right, then go down slightly. And the final fast travel point and mirror is here. And that will unlock you the mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the testicleness of them all? That'd be me, Tess. I wonder if there is someone actually out there called Tess Culls. There's got to be. There's got to be someone out there, isn't it? Uh, but anyway, uh, what we're going to do, <laughs> we're actually going to interact with the mirror, go back to the witch's house attic, and we're going to try and upgrade all we can and get the final tier from the bunny figurine collector bra. Alright, so that's all done. We've got all the tiers that we can. Get a couple of nice things in there as well. Plus, for the last final five levels, uh, they're 20,000 each. So 20,000 XP each as we head back to the Victorian house. I'm only coming here just to buy the last few remaining bombs that I need. Again, if you've got the achievements, we can just head back to the, um, uh, the East Wing or whatever it's called. It'll be on the bottom anyway. Um, but if you want to, you can come back and grab the rest of the bombs. But yes, so, for the final five levels, we need 20,000 XP each, which is 100,000 altogether. And again, that will literally take you about five minutes of grinding with those cardboard boxes. Um, so once we've got these ones done, again, a couple of fire bombs. Ice bombs give 1,000 damage. The magic bomb gives 1,500 damage. Um, so it's worth, worth grabbing a couple of them uh, purely for the last boss fight. Uh, again, the last boss is not too difficult again, it's just got a couple of different phases which it goes through, which you can avoid and things like that. Um, but just for the her final form, 
where she's a caterpillar. I'm not gonna, I'm not, she turns into a cheddar cheese caterpillar here, yeah, like the Aldi cake, you know, one of those. Um, but let's go back to the prison east wing. Uh, but anyway, we're going to use all the bombs on her, so that's why you've really seen me using a couple of bombs. So we need to get a couple of, um, we need to get four cards, the heart, spade, diamond, and club. So when we come out here then, you can just see on the wall, there are uh, like two switches. Two switches on the right door and two switches on the left. So the first one will be the heart. So interact with it. Once you go back into the right room, it will be another monster ambush, so get your stuff ready. Do what you've been doing, use your abilities, get up close and smash them, grash them, crash them bread. Once the last chunky nugget is down, we will get the heart card, and we will do that for all three of the remaining cards then. So, once we head back out... Oh, no, not Jack Black Panda. Kuf, Kuf, Kufang. Uh, Kung Fu Panda. Once we head back out, interact with the other switch here, which will be the club. Go back in, smash all the enemies down again to get the, well, club card. Tesco club card, as it were. Watch out! See, we're getting there now. We've just got two left, and then it will be the boss fights of life. So head to the left hand side. And then it, all you're going to do is basically just do the same thing. So interact with the two switches, or interact with one switch. Go to the left room, monster ambush, go outside, do the other switch, monster ambush, and we'll have all four cards. <gasps> Take this! You're a diamond, Mr. Grinch. You really have bad teeth. Anyway, uh, once we've got all four cards, we can ignore these enemies. If you want to just um, grind them out for a little bit of XP now, you can do that. Otherwise, we're going to press this door four times, pop all the cards in, and then we're going to try and beat down some cheddar. Now, as I said, you can use a couple of these bombs on the Queen here if you want, but she's actually, she's honestly just very easy to dodge. She will try and charge at you, like that one. So once she's down there, just keep smashing her with your abilities and everything like that. Again, you can use the left bumper to smash the ice bullets at her once it's charged up, even though she's flying. Um, the other thing she'll do, well, she'll do a bit of that, so just uh, stay, stay a bit far away. There we go, it's like a outer area effect. Don't do what I just done, that was silly. She will also throw some green bubbles at you. So once she does that, um, you just gotta try and dash your way um, from them. Um, otherwise, that's all she had for me for the first phase right here. I think she's gonna do it now. Yes, she is. So when you see all these green bubbles, then just try and dash away um, as much uh, away as much as you can. Otherwise, as soon as she gets down, avoid a dash and kill, kill, kill. 
take this. So, once the Cheddar has been exterminated then, she will turn into Aldi Caterpillar form. And this is where I am going to use the majority of... Uh, in fact, I say the majority, I'm going to use all the bombs for Aldi Caterpillar. Um, purely, obviously, just... To, again, she's not that difficult, she's got a couple of moves um, which can easily be avoided. Um, again, smash your health all the way up, it's always worth doing. But again, just get quite close to her and just use as many bombs as you can. She will try and smash down like that. Sometimes she misses, sometimes she doesn't. Um, if you want to smash her with a sword, just try and stay as underneath her belly as much as you can and then slice her away with the old sword of life. Uh, but again, I'm just literally <laughs> using all the bombs that I possibly can. Um, yeah, sometimes if uh, she misses her face, it won't actually say. Um, but once she, it, once she does this... She sort of tries sucking you in, but just keep dashing away or keep running away and she won't hit you. Apart from the fact that she just hit me. Hmm. So, again, hopefully you should have loads of potions as well. So if you're feeling a bit paranoid or, you know, uh, self-conscious or anything like that, just keep um, chucking your potions up. Otherwise, just keep bombing her to death with as many bombs as you have. Um, <laughs> look at her face. She's like, eh. oh, she's kissing me. No thanks. Run away. Run away. I do not want love from an Aldi chocolate caterpillar. Or the M&S one. Whichever one's in trouble. I keep forgetting which one. Uh, so, the magic bombs are pretty good. And we've got a... In fact, I don't think we've got the acid bomb. But we do have a couple more poison bombs. And she's going to start... Right. Stop kissing me! That's like your nan trying to kiss you, isn't it? Ah, give me your love. And your nan leaves you wetter than an actual moister oyster. Um, nothing like that, I mean just on your cheek, like, you know what I mean? Yes. Anyway, I have no bombs left, so what we're going to do is now just start to use all our abilities. So if you can, just try and get underneath her belly, and, um, in fact, you know what, pro it would actually probably be easier just to use the left bumper right bullet attack, and just, um, keep spamming the X button, in, in all fairness. Uh, although the uh, right trigger attack does a pretty good fair amount of damage. So, here we go. No more Aldi chocolate cake. Although the Aldi Twitter account is a good... That's a banger, that one. Uh, but yeah, congratulations. You've just beat the final boss. We do have a couple more things left to do in order to get the rest of the achievements. But the, um, the there's no more fights. Well, there's no more boss fights anyway. So over to hats. Wear the crown. And you should have already got the downfall achievement. And you'll get the crown achievement as well. And then what we're going to do then, before attending the final tea party, which is in this room, we are going to just max up to level 20. So there we go. Ah, doesn't that feel, doesn't that feel so good, yeah? Feels so good. So this is the room where we attend the final party, but what we're actually going to do is just keep coming into this room. We are going to keep uh, killing these cardboard boxes, going out of the room, coming back in, until we have 100,000 XP.
So annoyingly, I had like 500 XP I needed left, so I'm just gonna go ahead and kill one more. Again, like I said, this took me literally five minutes of grinding, so it might take you a little bit quicker, might take you a minute or two slower, but it's not one of those where it's bloody annoying. So once you've got 100,000 XP, then head into the right room, go down to the mirror, and of course we're going to go to the witch's house, or the witch's house attic, Go down to Decker and finally max yourself up to level 20. And then we're just gonna come back here and finish the game. Simply lovely. Oh, you can't beat the uh, rare achievements sound, can you? Definitely one of the sexiest things Xbox has ever put in the achievement system. Um, so, interact with the mirror. Of course, go back down to the east wing. We're obviously going to ignore the enemies this time. Because all we need to do now is literally just attend the final party and complete the game. And you'll get those two together. So, head through the angriest looking pieces of card, cardboard you've ever seen. Head straight through. Interact and uh, just interact with speak to Finn right here All right, it's all set and then people are gonna get mashed up son. They're gonna get mashed up on blues There is the spot of tea achievement and all you got to do to finish the game is speak to Finn who will be outside So just on the balcony right there you can speak to these uh, characters if you want, but meh can't be asked CBA bro CBA so speak to Finn we're going home the going home achievement unlocks, and that is all 50 out of 50, and that is Ravenlock complete. So, there we go then, guys and gals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the game. I thought it was absolutely fantastic, and I hope you did too. And I really hope that the guide helped you out as well. Uh, if you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my uh, Patreon supporters, all my YouTube members, and everyone who just continues to interact with me on the daily as well. Absolute legends. So thank you so much for again for watching guys and gals. I'll see you in the next Game Pass game. Big ol' bunny love.